Hey everybody, welcome back uh, behind the bar with me. Um, tonight we're doing something I haven't really done before. Um, I've done one of these breweries beers before, but I'm going to do kind of a brewery spotlight tonight. Um, reason being, this is a brewery that is not yet officially released. They're open, they're producing, but beer release uh, doesn't happen yet. So we managed to get a couple bottles from Crane Brewing Company here in Kansas City. This is a new brewery that's getting ready to open that I am stoked about. If you watched my review of their test batch um, farmhouse uh, hopped farmhouse ale, um, farmhouse IPA, um, you will know that I am very pumped for this beer, this brewery to open. So they're going to be launching with my understanding as four beers in the state of Kansas um, on December seventh. So that hasn't uh, I haven't seen an official anything out there from them but i know they've said it in a few places but uh, kansas look out december 7th next week uh, the week of december 7th they will be launching in kansas um and due to what i'm guessing based on everything around here um based on some label approvals they will be in, uh, releasing in missouri sometime at the very very beginning of 2016 but they're a brewery they need to sell some beer so they are going to release beer this year um in the state of kansas so i am pumped i will be there day one buying um as many bottles as I want. Um, so I hopefully they, they're very successful and uh, have a successful launch. But um, So tonight we're going to open one of these two bottles. I've already done the Farmhouse IPA. I did a, um, it was a test batch, but I don't want to waste everybody's time reviewing that one. I, I'll probably review it, I will do a video of it. Um, but for this one, I'm just gonna focus on the other beer. But their bottle, it's kind of hard to see in the light, but they have just some sexy, I love their logo. I love their bottles. Um, you can see that crane farmhouse there we go um they just look beautiful so um yeah so that's and i like it they have you know on their their labels they have um the signatures of the employees hopefully that'll focus you can see that that's pretty cool um cheers i mean they just want people to enjoy their beer i mean such a cool story from crane um Christopher Myers reached out to Michael Crane, who is a very famous Kansas City homebrewer, homebrewed for ever, and makes killer, killer, killer beer. And reached out to him a few years ago and wanted to open a brewery. It wasn't the right time for Michael. He had a woodworking shop um, out in Raytown, but then business changed a little bit, and he decided he wanted to, to jump in uh, with two feet with Christopher, and they hired some people, Steve, Randy, a bunch of people over there. Um, that I haven't gotten to meet everybody, but I met most everybody. I had a beer with Steve last weekend, and I hung out with Chris before. So, And Michael's a super nice guy. So they decided to open a brewery, and they've been working on it for a long time. They've been out in the wild you know, at events and stuff like that, sharing their beers, and uh, that's what they're doing. So tonight we're going to take a look at this one, which is their – these are the release bottles um, that will be able to be you know, purchased on the Kansas side next week. And we're going to take a look at their Saison Belgian Style Ale, 6.8%, 750 milliliter bottle. Um, farmhouse style field beer brewed um, to finish dry and refresh. This Belgo, Belgo French style ale's flavor begins with toasty malt, followed by fruity yeast, and ends with lightly bitter and crisp. Um, so yeah, brewed and bottled in uh, Raytown, Missouri. And uh, yeah, just, just beautiful. I mean, look at that logo. Just the crane. I love the concept. I mean, that's just super cool. Just super cool bottle. So, um, yeah, so let's pop this open, get it into a glass, and uh, see what we think. I don't have a crane stem yet, but I will be hopefully getting one as soon as they open and I'm able to buy one. Pour it out here. Um, my light setup, I get a lot of reflection. I should have turned that light slightly, but hopefully we can still see. Um, this pours out um, kind of a, a like an amber, brownish amber color. Actually, the camera's picking that up pretty good. Um, it's a little lighter than that, but basically that color. A um, little haze, but, uh, but mostly clear. I can see my finger through it, but not crystal clear by any means. Um, poured out with about a finger, finger and a half of just frothy, frothy. Um, white just fluffy head um some soapy bubbles but definitely good retention there um for sure i mean the head's not dissipating much at all already some good glass lacing alcohol legs on there um i can already smell this from here it smells kind of that killer like just says on funk um, that i can smell from the glass but let's dig in a little closer yeah just that that funky says on belgian 
um, typical nose that you would get from a French um, style uh, Saison yeast for anybody that's brewed with anything like that. Just kind of that, that juicy fruit, um, kind of funk, Belgian bready, kind of almost banana-y um, esters in the beer. Just just a killer smelling beer. Just a, a, a typical, um, just really aromatic. Um, doesn't smell diluted in any way, shape, or form. Some saisons you'll get that just smell. They don't have that in your face funk. This one definitely does. For a standard saison, this is a killer nose, killer nose, guys. But I'm ready to dig in and see what it tastes like. Uh, first time I've had this one. I've had a few other beers, um, but not this one yet. So we are going to see what we think. Cheers. Wow. Um, I will say up front, that's one of the most flavorful saisons that I, I mean, I'm still feeling this. One of the most flavorful saisons I've ever had. Full medium mouthfeel, very carbon. The carbonation is great. I can feel the kind of effervescent on my tongue. Um, the maltiness is definitely there, but that Belgian yeast and funk kind of takes over. A little bit of that wet, that horse blanket taste, but then right into just that banana ester, like, um, and, and juicy fruit gum from the yeast. I mean, if you like saisons, this is, I mean, this is in your face saison. This is great flavor. I mean, it's not thin at all. The flavors are not diluted. It is well made. This is, dare I say, the best saison that's ever been made in Kansas City. Um, yeah. I mean, for just a straight Saison, nothing crazy, um, just straight Saison yeast, no bread or anything like that. I don't believe this has bread in any way, shape, or form. It doesn't taste like it does. Um, and it would say, um, this is killer. Wow. That's, that's money. Um, straight for style. I mean, wow. That's one of the best Saisons I've ever had. And I, I don't drink a ton, ton of them. Um, I typically go with more like Brett style Belgian beers, um, sours, things like that. But just for straight for style, that's killer. And at 6.8%, you do get a little bit of the sweetness, what I'm guessing is from the alcohol um, on the back end. But it blends really well with the malt bill, bill and with the, with the yeast for sure. It's got, um, like I said, it's a little banana-y, not a ton, but just a little bit. And then you get the funk and that juicy fruit gum. Like, juicy fruit gum is what I'm getting from that yeast. Um, it's just killer. I mean, that's what a, a, a Belgian Saison should be, right? It's typically just a, it's a basic Belgian-style beer. It's basically like our version, almost of a wheat beer, um, sort of, like their version of a Hefeweizen. Just with that more funky yeast, those bring out like just that horse blanket, that, um, which I'm not getting a ton of that. It's more just the juicy fruit, that, that bread, like, Bread breadiness and uh, the banana e banana eness. That's not a word, <laughs> but that is killer. That's killer. I like it. Um, definitely an A beer for me. I'm gonna go 93 out of 100 on this. Um, 90, 93, 94, right in that range. I mean, for what this is for the style, this is one of the best I've had. This is killer, and I would expect nothing less from these guys. Um, Probably my favorite or one of my favorite beers I've had this year is their Wild Rye Saison, um, which was insane. It blew my mind. I mean, it, for me, it was upper echelon 99 or 100 out of a out of 100. I mean, it was a killer beer. Um, so hopefully that one gets released at some point. They've made it a few times, so I'm guessing it will. Um, probably as a seasonal or something, but that beer is killer. Um, good. These are good launch beers for them. My understanding is there's this, these two um, and two others that are going to launch. Um, one, I believe, was with uh, an apricot beer, and one is a, a tea weiss, I believe. I, I think those that's right. They'll correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and an, an apricot goze, I believe. Um, goza. Anyways, I'm not positive on the last two. I believe that's going to be the case, though. There was some... Um, Anyways, I got these two um, to do the, the review, and I'll do a review of the farmhouse because this one's still pretty fresh from the last one I'd reviewed. Um, the, it was a few months old. This one's bottled within the last um, about a month. So that'll be good, and they did put the bottle on date on, on the cap, which is killer for me. Just a sticker. <laughs> Things backwards on camera. Um, and full disclosure, though, I do want to say um, I do always feel as a beer reviewer I should let this be known that the, these beers were given to me um, by by Crane Brewing. Christopher gave them to me. Um, I just we were talking and I said I'd love to do uh, just a review because he knows how much I'm looking forward to their beers. So uh, he said he'd be happy to. And um, 
they were given to me by them. So, but I will be buying tons of their beers, tons of their beers. I am a member of their uh, membership club where I get um, three bottles of special releases a couple times a year. So I'm looking really looking forward to that. Um, but yeah, uh, killer. I, I'm just telling you guys, if you're in Kansas City, um, this is their. It's gonna be the best one I think so far, or at least the best one opened in the last year or two, um, for sure. And that's not even close. Um, not that there's not good ones out there, but I've been looking forward to this one for a while. They're going to kill it. And uh, for anybody outside of Kansas City, see if you can get your hands on some because I, they're, I mean, even their base beers are for for a style like that. It's it's killer. I'm going to sit and enjoy the hell out of this, and I'm going to save this one for when a buddy comes over, because um, I promised him he do we, he would get to try some with me. Uh, but my plans changed tonight, and I had to do this a little early. But um, yeah, so I, I mean. It, for people in Kansas City and outside, get ready. Crane Brewing Company out of Raytown, um, which is kind of the southeast side of Kansas City, east side of Kansas City. They are, uh, yeah, Kansas, December 7th, and um, Missouri early next year. So don't want it to sound like a sales picture or a commercial for them. This is my personal opinion. I have been looking forward to this brewery for a long time. Every time they're out in the community and I can get out and try their beer, I've been doing it because they do some, some fun stuff, and they just, they're all, I mean, they know what they're doing. They've got good guys over there. And I like going out there and hanging out with them. And I can't wait till they get their tap room open next year so we can all go drink out there. And uh, until then, we'll just enjoy it in bottles and give them our business. So hopefully you guys do the same. And uh, yeah, we'll leave it there. So we're going to go 93 out of 100 on the Saison. And uh, yeah, thanks for coming behind the bar with me and checking out Crane Brewing Company coming soon to a liquor store near you. So until next time, guys. Cheers.